So, Erin and I are here at the Met. We just came back from um, Ramen, and we are so excited to go visit the 14-year-old dancer by Edgar Degas. So we've just entered Gallery 815, and all of his beautiful pastel paintings are hanging on the wall. And in the center of the room is the 14-year-old dancer. So magnificent, I'm just blown away by this. So Edgar Degas was a very influential impressionist. Um, he was both a French painter and sculptor, and he influenced several major modern artists, including Pablo Picasso. Yeah, totally. And he enjoyed capturing female dancers and played around with unusual angles and ideas um, with females. He had so many different versions of this piece of art. Uh, the 14 year old dancer is 30 and a half inches tall and um, the proportions can be different depending on um, how you measure her because she has a, a cotton skirt and um, she has a satin hair bow in her hair as well. She has a, a bronze body and her top is made out of wax and um, she's stood on a wooden base. Yeah, I totes agree. The way she's positioned on this wooden base, it's like a relaxed version of the ballet's fourth position. She also has this attitude about her. The thrust of her chin and the way she holds herself, it's just, it's practically moving. This ballerina sculpture was created in 1881 and Degas actually made many different versions of it. He made smaller ones when he was first starting off with this sculpture um, and it portrays a young student in the Paris Opera Ballet Dance School. She's actually Belgian and her name is Marie van Gogh. The public was very accustomed um, during this time in France to sculptures that showcased idealized women in marble, and a lot of these people were outraged that his work depicted such a common subject, a young dancer drawn from everyday life, and whose attitude reflected nothing goddess-like or heroic. Instead of chiseling her body into marble, he had rendered her in beeswax and random found objects. And in the face of the rampant public disapproval, Degas removed the sculpture from his light and stored it in a closet. Yeah. It stayed there for four decades. It, that's just ridiculous. But then finally, I have an answer. Paul Mejon acquired the original wax sculpture in 1956 and graciously gifted it to the National Gallery of Art. Yeah, I, I just, I love looking at this, um, this piece of art. I just, I love how he uses different types of mixed medium and. You know, you kind of get the sense of she's a ballerina and she's gracious, but she's also just a normal 14-year-old girl, and she's just very relaxed. She's kind of standing in like a semi contrapposto stance. She has her right foot forward, and her left hip is kind of jutting up a little. Yes, her presence in this room... Just the fact that the room is so simple. Yeah. It's like a light gray kind of wall, and all the frames in the background are very conservative. Mm -hmm. And then you just walk in, and she's just beautifully standing there. She takes, yeah. she takes your eyes. I totally agree. <laughs> she's just so beautifully placed in the center of all of his 
beautiful works of art and all of his accomplishments and this collection in the Met is actually one of the world's largest and most comprehensive and Yo Tony, take a look at this, it's a ballerina! And excuse me, this is a museum and we're recording. Sorry, where was I? People just have no respect that for was, museums. Yeah, oh that was god. incredibly rude. Oh my god, I can't. Hand. Hand. Okay. Um. Anyway, just um, the impressionism um, pieces from France in around this uh, gallery are just beautifully tied into each and every one of the artists and. Just seeing this beautiful sculpture in the middle is just, it's breathtaking. I just, I love visiting it. It's, oh, it's just incredible. Am I right? I, I completely agree. Like, we said it once and we'll say it again. Like, we just did. And as you move to the back of this piece, you can see the beautiful satin bow that is wrapped around her very intricately sculpted hair and then as you look lower you see her very delicately hands clasped together and by including this in the sculpture he masters his intention to portray a young girl who dreamed of having an illustrious life in ballet but he also kept her identity as a young girl from the streets of Paris yeah by including these two very important parts she just creates such an innocence for her. I mean, she is 14 years old, but it's just, it's so beautiful. It's such, it's such a it, it wraps, it wraps the piece together. Like, it finishes it. It makes it Yeah, fit. no, totally. And it's such a beautiful in-the-round sculpture. Um, so the main location of this actual sculpture is located in the Tate Liverpool Museum, but we are very fortunate that he does have one so close to us in the Met. Um, but because he did so many different variations of it, he has a few in a different museums, and um, the one in Liverpool is the one that is his real final finished final um, product. Yeah, his yeah. final product. So. Big thanks from me and Katrina, because we just want you to enjoy this video and possibly go visit the Met, because it is absolutely oh, it's beautiful. It is so magnificent. I mean, the amount of times Aaron and I have been, like, I can't even keep track now. We've I been, like, hundreds, like, yeah. hundreds of times. Lots of donations. Yeah. So anyway, please visit the Khan Academy website for all of our other art featured videos um, and have an amazing art filled day. Finally, a financer, Paul Mejom, acquired. <laughs> <laughs> this, this wax sculpture in 56 and graciously, am I right? Rested it. <laughs> <laughs> the National Gallery. So Edgar Degas. Oh, it's Degas. Oh my god. Yeah, but you don't pronounce us. Oh, it's Degas. Degas. Really enjoyed.
enjoyed capturing female dancers and played with a lot of unusual anger. Anger. I think we can clip it. You can stop it yet. 